Oh, it's cold here again. Look at this maj majestic, beautiful country that we live in. You know, uh, I, I shared a little bit the other day, but I'm talking again about fears and things like that in, in the planet and where we live right now. Just the fear and the panic that's going on is, uh, just, you know, it's mind boggling. But we're here, this is the domain of the eagles. Just awesome, awesome birds, as I've shared before. Absolute rulers of the sky. You know, when I was doing my book on eagles, you know, the Greeks believed that they were the connection, the divine connection. The Romans used to march with a golden eagle. The Egyptians, the Israelis, our Aboriginal people take them as a totem. The North American Indians, you know, they're a sign of courage. They take the feathers and stick them in their hair and things. It's an international, you know, uh, all time it's a symbol of courage. People like Napoleon, he named his son as a baby eagle. Alexander the Great, even Hitler, they all saw that the eagle was a sign of, a symbol of courage. The early church, they had lectins made in the form of a, an eagle with outstretched arms, which they put their Bibles on as well. Eagles are just amazing birds. I mean, they know, I've seen videos of them attacking wolves. Uh, when, I shared once before, but here on the Gold Coast, they had an international competition for hang gliders, and the German pilot went and flew into the area of a wedge-tailed eagle, and the eagle attacked him, slashed his, his uh, glider and almost cost him his life. I remember seeing a film also in the Philippines. They were filming the Filipino eagle, and the cameramen had to have crash helmets on because the eagles would dive and hit him in the head legendary just amazing boldness and the bible talks so much about boldness and courage god has not given us a spirit of fear but one of power and of love and of a sound mind the righteous are as bold as a lion you know uh, in revelation chapter 4 there's an amazing passage of scripture and it talks about a creature with four you know with the first part of its face was a lion second was an ox and the third was a man and the fourth was an eagle the first face, what's that lion? It talks about supreme, you know, uh, leader or symbol of the wild wildlife. Ox, domestic, same thing. Uh, the man, ruler of the earth, but the eagle is ruler of the skies, absolute supreme ruler of the skies. And God likens us to eagles. Think about that. Look at this beautiful domain here. And God likens us to eagles. You know, as I said before, the righteous are as bold as a lion. Unfortunately, we've seemed to have lost a lot of that. But the eagle for us is a symbol. Again, it's a symbol of courage. God likens himself and likens us to eagles. It talks about mount up with wings like eagles. You know, Proverbs talks about four things. He says three things, too wonderful me to, me to explain. He said, no, there's four, the way of the eagle in the air. I mean, think about Joe Cocker, that song, Lord, lift us up where we belong, where the eagle flies on mountain high. So right throughout our history, internationally, the eagle is a symbol of courage. In Deuteronomy chapter 20, if I can get my Bible here, there's a passage of scripture, which I love as, again, talking about, you know, again, dealing with fear. In chapter, Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse one, it says, when you go out to battle against your enemies, and you see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, it says, do not be afraid of them, for the Lord your God is with you, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. And so it shall be when you go into the verge of battle, this is what he says here, that the priest shall approach and speak to the people, the man of God, the pastor, and he's gonna to speak to his people. And what is he gonna say? 666 six, six, and the stormtroopers are coming to get you, you know, or, or something fearful, store up your food or your your dunny paper or whatever else it is. I even heard ministers, international ministers saying it might be a good idea to store up some food. I mean, that fear is so contagious. It just jumps off, go down the shops. And when there's fear and panic and it jumps onto you, it says, no, it says, it says here, the priest shall approach and speak to the people. And what's he gonna say? He says, hero Israel, today you're on the verge of battle with your enemies. Do not let your heart faint. Do not be afraid. Do not tremble or be terrified of them. Why? For it says, for the Lord your God, it is he who goes with you to fight for you and against your enemies and to save you. You know, remember Jesus every time that he would come and he'd say, fear not. He didn't say panic, let's bolt. 
head to the hills and we'll store up food. He said, fear not. Why, why fear not? He says, because I'm with you. And God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So if there is a, you know, something that we can, in this day and age, and as I say, the Bible also talks about the first, the natural, then the spiritual. There are things in the natural that we can apply in the spiritual. And one of the things I believe that we can see is the legendary boldness of an eagle. Some time ago, I took my wife out in the Northern Ter Territory when we lived there. I found this nest where there were baby eagles and I got talked my wife into climbing up to have a look at these baby eagles. And when we got up there, there's a, there's a snake in the nest. So Jen thought I'd put that there on purpose because if I do that, hello, you know, carry one up. But when we got up there, the mother eagle just dived on us and she started to attack us. And Jen got down, got away. And even when we were leaving, she was picking up to turtle shells and dropping them on our head. You know, eagles will defend their family, defend, you know, their home, their, their, their area to the death. There's something we can learn, I believe, in this day and age from eagles, and that's courage. You know, courage is not the absence of fear. You've, if you've never had fear, you're either a liar or you've had a lobotomy. But courage is simply suck it up, tough it out, and do it, even if you have to do it scared. So that's what it means. If you've got to do it scared, just do it scared. But that's what we learned from eagles. Man, I just love them. Have a look at this awesome. Man, as I say, the, the eagle, I mean, he's absolute master of the air, divine, uh, you know, ruler of his domain. Nobody, nobody challenges an eagle. And when you get up at 10, 15,000 feet, the only birds you find are uh, eagles and maybe a, a, a few pelicans or may, maybe a, a condor, but normally it's eagles. The Bible says, mount up with wings like eagles, not flap up like a crow. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. God bless. Have a look at this as the daughter pans around this magnificent, as I say, this is eagle domain.